Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to attempt to assemble a skeleton from these constituent pieces. Now, I got this, I think it was from Wikipedia, I apologise, I can't uh, remember exactly where, but um, I was able to group uh, various pieces and uh, some of them uh, can be ungrouped even more if you wish by selecting and control U, but uh, I've sort of chosen this, uh, this grouping as a reasonably straightforward one. So let's start. We'll take the skull and the neck vertebrae. Now see snapping's not going to do what we want so I'll turn snapping off for this, uh, this video. Something like that. And then let's have a look. I'll bring the, uh, the rib cage down. Be somewhere around here and shoulder blades perhaps uh, in there now don't uh, hold me to any of this, I'm not a bowl teacher or a medical student by any means and I think that uh, should go there whoops just don't get me to uh, do any surgery on you okay um, let's see, the arms and perhaps uh, some more of the spinal column again I'm not going to do this exactly uh, hips uh, more arm bones uh, some hands might be handy, pardon the pun and another one actually I might swap them around, I think I had them right the first time uh, what next? Uh, the uh, femur femurs rest of the leg and uh, feet actually I'll, I'll drag all these over a bit closer nearly done and kneecaps perhaps there ok now you can zoom in and do a, a better job than I have, but uh, there's an activity that you could perhaps get students to do. Now you could also get them to label that. My original file is uh, over here somewhere. Look, there it is. And if I zoom in a little bit, if you look under layers under here, you can turn labels on and off. So that's uh, quite handy as well. Uh, my uh, thanks to the original author of this this uh, SVG file. Okay, hope that uh, gives you some ideas of uh, what you can do, maybe a little bit quicker than pencil and paper and uh, certainly helps some kids that perhaps aren't as dexterous with, or a good uh, artist but uh, on the computer with Inkscape they can do it uh, reasonably well. Thanks again for watching.